Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8.5 Anniversary Update series. Um, last episode we crashed on the planet and gathered a bunch of stuff, and now we have a cricket that doesn't want to go away. Now, I've, I've been contemplating going after it with my survival tool since it seems to be kind of trapped there. But I'm not sure. I think it can get up and, like, kill me. So, I think we're going to refrain from that today. Instead, we're going to build a quick and dirty HV. <clears throat> so, this is what I got. I've got this stuff built. Let's move this. I don't need that right now. Uh, we'll get this out here, we'll do the cockpit out here, these out here, we'll put this away here, put a bunch of stuff away. Okay. And, there, technically we should be able to get away with just using these hover thrusters. Now... I already kind of tried them, and from my experience, I could not um, get all the way up to max height with them. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, and then, so I applied regular ones to that and got up to max height, but then the hover thrusters didn't work anymore. So um, kind of interesting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they only work at like half, half height. Now, when I did have it at half height, I was zipping around pretty good. So we're going to, we're going to try this with just these. And if this works, that's a much cheaper way of getting around. But I just, I just don't think they're going to be fast enough. We'll try it. So let's start by putting the starter down. We're going to... Somewhere right around here. Good enough. Okay. Uh, we really want to get... Basically, I'm thinking... I want to do something like this. I want to... That's three... And then kind of, I kind of want to move the, I'm going to want to move the, that, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to worry about it this episode, so, or this series anyway, probably. Uh, let's just get rid of a couple of these blocks here. most of them, in fact, because I want to replace them with recover from thrusters. Oh, wait. Uh, did I want to get rid of that one? No, and I can't repair it now. That's fine. I can always repair it later. Oops. Jeez. <sighs> I have no way of repairing it. Oh, he escaped, or did his buddy... Yeah, see, he wasn't trapped. It was all just a show. He wants to kill me. He wants to, to goad me into attacking him, thinking that I had him cornered, and I could just... Oh, crafty bugger. I know what you're up to. You can, You shoo. gonna die today. Okay, so let's put these in. Okay, so the idea here is... Oh, you know what? We could do... Let's do this one right in the center. Let's get rid of that. Let's launch our drone, actually. Just to make it a little easier to point straight down. 
to not get anything else. And then we can put this there. Come on. Right there. Okay. So, what I want to do is, well, I got to move back now. <laughs> What I want to do is, let's, so what kind of cockpit do I want? I want like a square back to it of some sort. That looks pretty sexy though, doesn't it? I could do something cool with that. Nah, let's let's be lame. <laughs> Does anyone ever use this? Uh, oh my god, is that the same height and everything? Three three five. Three three five. Three oh three two six. That's longer and not as big, but it's the same width. Three. Three, three, five. Huh, three, two. So it's not as high. Isn't that interesting? Three, three, five. Three, two, four. So I knew that one existed, but that one is rounded. I don't know. Okay, so, hmm. You know what? We're going to have to go with one of these. Should we go with the old school one? One of the old school ones? Let's do it. And should we do it right there? Yep. That looks good. Okay. So we're going to put some stuff in it now. Uh, let's stand these up. Stand that up. We'll put that. Or should we lay it down? You know what? Maybe we'll lay it down. Although it doesn't translate well laying down, does it? No, let's, you know what, we'll stand it up. Go like this, like this, and we'll put this like that. Okay, so technically, technically it should be able to fly right now, or drive. I think. I think. <clears throat> I mean, God, could you imagine? <laughs> it's like the cheapest, cheapest HV ever. Oh man, well, I gotta, I gotta actually see if this is actually gonna fly at this, at this stage. Or run I should say not fly it's a hover hover but we can afford to put some more okay and turn that on Ooh, are, are we actually moving look at that oh my goodness so oh I gotta fix my view here. Something like that. Okay, that's good. Wow! Whoa! This thing's like super fast! Whoa! And it just like stops on a dime. Are you serious? <laughs> Insane! Are you kidding me? And I have like a thousand... Are you a thousand minutes left? Is that right? Are you, um, no, this can't be right. I, I, um, woo! This is getting speeds of 40. Cheapest, fastest HV ever! What the hell? Okay, so that's my hover height. <laughs> like, that's like, 
Oh my god, that is insane! Um, okay, uh, let's check the stats. Th this, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. Why is this so fast? Those aren't even anything close to the numbers we're, we're seeing in reality, is it? Like, that's nothing. Although the, um, the RCS, though, is that's some pretty severe RCS. -ing. But the... And nothing going down, usually that's, like, pretty strong with the... Okay, I, I don't know what those numbers are. I don't think they're reflective correctly at this point. Just saying. Um... Wow, okay, so this is insanely fast. Uh, it had two gas tanks, yeah, that's why, it, that's why I could only get it to 25% with um, whatever it was, 30 biofuel. Um, hmm. It's like super efficient. 17 hours left, just... So as soon as I add anything else to it, it's just going to tank. <laughs> but as a, as a vehicle, just a straight up vehicle, just to get around, it's insanely fast. Like, look at this. <laughs> Here, let's just straighten out. Look at that. I turned in midair. Can I do flips? Are you kidding me? I... I just, did I just cartwheel? I just cartwheeled. Did you see that? I just cartwheeled! Oh, 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 what's it doing? It's jumping? I don't know. Uh, can it, can it, like, jump on its own? No. Okay, so hover height, 1.5. Yeah, that's all I could get to you before so okay but that seems to be sufficient wow this thing is like super fast and light and just I have power for days on just a few biofuel Okay, these hover engines are awesome. Hover thrusters. Holy crap. For, st for a starting HV, this is insanely fast. And stable as hell. But I think the stability of it has to do with how I've got it configured. Okay, is, am I actually, like, going to touch ground anytime soon? This is insane. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> wow. Okay, I guess I should be careful. Look, look at how fast it stops all on its own. Okay, they're gonna nerf these. They're gonna nerf these. I might as well have fun with them while I can. Oh man, what would like 20 be like? <laughs> be like instant, boom, max speed, every direction. Huh, okay, so so I don't mind if I can only go at 1.5 meters above ground. That's, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. It doesn't seem to be having that much of an issue with it. So, wow. <laughs> and, God, it just... Okay, so what happens if I jump out? Does it stay hovering? Yeah, no problems. Let's take a look at how level it is. It looks really freaking level. Okay, well, let's head back. Um, okay, so at first test now, I'm going to have to say that 
whoa, we covered some ground there. Holy crap, this thing is fast! Wow, I... <sighs> Crazy, okay. Let's just head back, and we're going to make a... Um, Yeah, I, we got 40 meters a second constant. That's just, and, and like, so let's see, can I like, oh, did you see that? I came to a stop and then climbed it, no problem. This is crazy for a starter HV. Is, is this the cheapest, fastest HV ever? <laughs> I haven't... Wow, when you, when, when you take a jump on this thing, it really jumps and goes forever. Um, okay, let's, let's try and get a jump off something. Let's get this. There, okay. And, I don't know, okay, well that seemed normal. Maybe it's because it was slightly downhill? Huh. Well, I must say, I am super impressed, and it actually, it is super duper stable, and I think it's because of how I configured the, or the um, arbor thrusters. I found this configuration to work really good. Uh, for mining vehicles um, now I now obviously I have more than I normally do but wow okay so let's make let's just jump out let's make um, let's go into our tech tree because we're gonna have to uh, learn it but what do we got 27 points we can take 10 of them make an armor locker O2 and armor, but you know what? Okay, so we've we've already know how to do the cargo box and harvest module. We need to learn the there it is the mobile constructor. Super important. Um, what else do I need? That's what else do I need? Need need. Well, you know what? Let's do it. We'll unlock this stuff. Uh, it's a weapon, right? Your armor's a weapon? Yeah. And we might as well unlock... Hmm. I'm going to unlock the multi-tool just, you know, because I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, do I have the Gatlings? Yeah, I've got Gatling and small ammo. Okay, good. So I can make weapons for it. I can make the harvest module for it. Uh, big thing, big, very important. And <clears throat> what else? What else do I need to make? I'm overlooking something for sure that I need right off the bat. I'm going to kick myself when I don't take it. You know what? Maybe I should just leave those nine points then. That might be a good idea. I just leave those nine points. Because I'm, I'm going to need them for something, and I'm going to be pissed at myself for not having them. Okay. Although, as soon as I make the um, stuff to put on it, we're going to be leveling up real fast here. So, now that I've learned that, I should be able to just build it on this, right? Yes, there it is. Mobile constructor. Let's get that going. These are going to spoil, so we need, um, yeah, I don't have a fridge, a mobile fridge, right? Or can I make it? I don't know yet. Well, uh, can we do the armor too? Yeah, we can do the armor too. Okay, so we can get that going. That's cool. Okay. And once we get the constructor on... Yeah, so that's a base one. 
I mean, we could power up the base, get a solar solar uh, capacitor with a bunch of panels going, but I don't really want to make... I'm probably going to lift all these blocks even, or maybe not. I don't know. It's not very many concrete blocks. It doesn't take much to make a couple hundred concrete blocks in the game, really. Okay, come on. Okay, this is going to make life a lot easier. So let's put that craft. We'll put this on the back here. So, you know what? We can just lay it right on top, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's looking very square. I know. I know. I know. That's the way it is. So now that we got a mobile constructor, we can just move the show on the road, really. Let's just pick all this stuff up. Considering that thing is so cheap on fuel, but as soon as I add, as soon as I add, uh, like the armor locker in the fridge, I bet you we're screwed. I bet you that it starts eating up, uh, anyway, let's just grab that. We'll take that too. Okay. So let's put stuff into the, here, let's just group everything. Go into here really quick. Um, so we'll throw this stuff in there. What we want to do is we want to get the harvest module going, we want to get two Gatling guns going, we want the harvest cargo box, the small ammo box, and we're going to need another two cargo boxes, and we'll do the SVHV fridge. I'm not going to worry about the O2 station on this thing. I don't think we're uh, going to need it. We'll do the detector, though, for sure. See, that's the thing. Once you get once you get the mobile constructor up and going, then all of a sudden you can make even more stuff. And you can immediately upgrade your, your little piddly HV to something that's actually potentially combat capable. Or at least... You can get some pea shooters and spit at things. No, the, realistically, with the with the Gatling guns, we'll see. With that ridiculous amount of RCS, where I could do the backflip there, uh, with how it was, we'll see. With once we add all this stuff with the weight, um, if it's gonna screw us. So what's that gonna be? The energy in ten kilowatts. Yikes! Yikes! One each of these energy in five kilowatt. Okay. One kilowatt. Uh, no energy in five kilowatt. And five kilowatts. So that is gonna eat up our energy. Hmm. I mean, I need it to harvest more <laughs> to get uh, biofuel going. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. I'll put it on last, so I'll put it on 
You know what? When I'm when I'm grinding wood, I'll put it on. When I'm not, I'll pop it off. Right? Oh wait, I don't have a. a I can't. Once it's on there, it's on there until I make a um, one of these. But I don't have the. Yeah, we gotta go golem hunting or something. We gotta find Prometheum. I made some an ore scanner, so that's good. And we're gonna have this detector, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Now, I don't think I have a a uh, choice. I'm gonna have to put these Gatling guns on and just leave them on. But we're gonna need to make biofuel really quick, so I'm probably gonna end up putting the harvest module on anyway. Just start cranking out biofuel with this thing. But we'll get everything built first here. Okay. So while it's doing that, let's we can just take off now. I mean we're we're not oh, you know what? I should actually start picking these things. So let's see how low I can get. And then if we just like jump out, can I like Target it? Oh, not quite. That's fine. This thing's crazy fast, eh? Just like, wow, it just stops on a dime and just like, wow, turns like crazy. I've never had an HP handle like this before. That's, that's serious. Like, wow, come on. Let's, let's just spin on my nose, do whatever I want. I mean, that I, I can make HVs do that with a whole bunch of RCS, but remember, I got no RCS or thrusters on here, just these. <laughs> I can make it roll. Can I make it actually roll? Let's see. I don't think I've ever figured out how to do that. Let's see. Can I make it roll? Can I make it roll? If I think I, think I can, if I get it to... Come on, can I can I roll? Can I? No, I can't roll. I don't know how to roll. I can I can just flip it. See, I don't even need to use O with this thing. It's awesome. Okay, that's that is officially awesome. Grab these things. I mean, why not, right? Okay, these little hover thrusters are are very cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, unfortunately I can't see anything now because it's just too dark, so let's head back. How's the, um, oh, I don't even know about head back. Do we need to head back? Really? We got all our stuff here. I heard something. Uh, it's just crickets. Let's, um, we're in the starter biome. Nothing can, nothing's going to be in the starter biome. So let's, let's just get did I loot this one? I can't even remember now. I think I did. Huh. Let's check it out. Ugh. That out of my face. Oh, I didn't. Wow. Okay. Okay. Shoulder light. Thank you. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay. Uh, I guess we should probably get this fridge in, eh? So that's five kilowatts. Okay. And then we'll get the harvest stuff in and get get biofuel going. I think we're just gonna have to. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. So the fridge, the fridge. 
Let's do it on one of these top corners here. And then uh, we'll do the small ammo box, the cargo. Okay. Still got that to put on. Okay. So we'll put put this. this uh, we can put this let's say I get this doesn't really What else? That on. We're gonna get that on. Okay, so these cargo boxes. <coughs> so I think I want a couple of large ones that don't. Even, I don't care if they're airtight or not. Side? Yeah, okay. And then we did we not make oh we didn't right, we stopped the armor from the uh, armor locker from being made. So let's redo that. <coughs> get some lights going. It's really loud, isn't it? And we'll install that. Okay. Bloody rain making it miserable. Okay, so let's put four. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then we want... Stand up for me. No, just stand up. Stand up. Come on, come on. Ah. How about if I go like this? No? Come on. Stand. Come on. Uh. Oh. I had it there for a second. Oh. Can I come on? Can I stand? Can I get it to stand? Oh, I had it there for a second. It just Get it to stand and then move it down. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <sighs> yeah, I don't want a big butt plug sticking out. And what, you're going to flip to the side? I want it. And it doesn't... You can't do anything with it. It's one of these... Subject to being stupid beyond belief. Um, oh yeah, it's kind of sagging in the back now, isn't it? Well, I got some heavy stuff to put on the front, so we'll see how it does. I mean, really, this is stupid. Why can't I... No, I don't... I don't really want to do that. Because that looks stupid. Well, it's stupid then. 
<laughs> okay, the guns are going to be a little easier. I'm just going to line them right up like that. And like that. Okay. And then... What else? How are we doing? What do we got? 50... So... Okay, so it's not... It's still not too, too bad. That's, yeah, I mean, it's still doing pretty good. We got still got lots of power left without having much fuel in the tank. So that's pretty good. And now it's really tippy, isn't it? If I go like that, it tips backward. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta add more. So let's, um... Make two more. Put those out back. We might have to, uh... Yeah, we'll just stick them right to the back. Who cares? Who cares if it's connected to like a cargo box or something at this point? I don't. Okay, so I have some here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to need these RCS thrusters now. It's very interesting. Not that it's a waste. I can throw them in the factory, but it's just inter I wasn't expecting these things to uh, work that well. So let's just jump out for a second. You know what? Let's get let's get the lights on right now. Let's get the lights on right now. Yeah, it's really sagging in the back. Okay, and then we want there. Okay, so let's jump in, see if this will straighten out now. So we'll auto group everything again. Okay, we'll jump out and see if this thing is more balanced. So it's a little better, right? a little better. Okay, so let's see what happens when we put the front harvester on. We're going to have to run around and get wood really quick once I do this. We're going to have to be diligent about making biofuel for it. Okay, and then We'll see once I jump in. We'll see if it balances out again. Uh, what else? What else? We've got the we've got these to put on. I might just. It's not easy to get under there. So if I can get like a bunch in a row, maybe. So let's go back as far as I can. Come on. It's right there. And then we'll do one. There. And that should be good enough. Yeah. 
I'll just do two in the center. I think that should be fine for now. Okay, so let's see how this thing performs. It's a little bit more sluggish. But it's still... It still gets up there in speed and can handle it. So, you know what? And how is it for RCS? Not bad. I think I need a couple more, though. Because it did really... Oh, putting all that stuff on really slowed it down considerably as... That's... Um, okay. Let's get two more on. Two more on. Let's get two more on. And I can put on my light armor, so let's do that. Although, I'm going to consume more food if I do that. Alright, food consumption. Wow, 44% more. Yikes. I don't really need it on right now. I'll just leave it off for now. Um, oh, you know what? Jeez. We've got the fridge, and I didn't put the stuff in the fridge. It's probably all spoiled. Oh my god, it did. It's okay, I still got... That's fine. It's about to spoil. My energy bars are going to spoil. That's kind of pathetic. That's okay, now that I got them in the fridge, they'll be okay. Uh, we are going to need... Once those are built, we are going to need to crank on the... Biofuel. Okay. So let's jump out. Get some more going here. So. Still sagging in the back, right? So what if I did something like this? Let's, let's do like there. And there? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like just more space to put cargo on. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see how this performs now. Uh, yeah, a little better. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely usable. And I can Oh, you know what? Let's go up higher. There we go. Now, there we go. Yeah, I can still point straight down. So I'll be able to shoot things. Okay. Um, okay, so let's get some stuff. Get some of these uh, shrubs and trees and stuff. Because we need all the logs right now for the biofuel. I don't really care about berries. Okay, we probably should, if we're going to leave the starting area, and you can see, wow, look at the, my radar. It's just lit right up now with this uh, HV detector in place. So that's cool. So we've got 25 minutes. I mean, that's not bad for not very much in the tank. So these are very, very efficient little motors on this thing and it is still very fast um, and it's pretty much got what I need on it right now to uh, get me to 10th level which will which will get me to the next stage in the game really uh, so yeah, I'm going to go around, I'm going to harvest like crazy and make a ton of biofuel with this thing and, and, um, probably even go mine some more of the nodes.
roads that uh, I originally had mined, and then um, we hopefully will be seventh level by then, hoping. And what are we at right now? Oh, we still got lots of energy bars there, so that's good. So let's put those in the fridge too, right? Okay, we'll place them separate, separately so they don't stack with those and crap out. Okay, so, yeah. I think we're going to leave the episode off here. Uh, basically, this was about the HV today, and wow, this thing just, like, performs like a champ. And it's got all the stuff on it. It's really cheap. Uh, okay, so with all the stuff on it now, Let's take a look at the stats on it. Uh, 86 iron, cheap. 98 copper, cheap. 85 silicone, cheap. And that should be level 5, yep, because of the constructor on it. Because they bumped that to level 5 now, so... Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, cheapo starter HV, built on the fly, um, and just performs really, really, really well for a starter HV. The hover engines that uh, you get for it, for the starters, the uh, hover thrusters, they're so-called, just are surprisingly good <laughs> I mean I'm really quite surprised at how well these things actually work like it's pretty awesome and like like the amount of of like energy that it's consuming is like negligible it's re Ooh, did you see that? Ooh, a little creature in the water. Okay. Okay. Creature in the water, creature in the water. Let's get some... Uh, do we have enough? Do we, yeah, we do, because we have... Where are you? Because we have this. So... Let's make some ammo. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 rounds should get us what? You're scaring me. And ooh, what? what's red over there? Red? Red? I saw a red arrow. I swear to God, I saw a red arrow. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there is a drone out there. Huh. Probably protecting some deposits of some sort, so we'll go check that out. And, oh! There's the critter. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's creepy. Is it going to come after us? Oh, it is! Oh! Oh, it's taking off! Hey, come back! Yeah, I killed it! 500. Ooh, and it like... Green gobbly guts came out of it. Hmm. wonder if it's edible. Luropod, melt and meat. Okay, so interesting. Interesting. Well, there you have it. Our first, uh, our first aggressive creature is one of those sea monsters. <laughs> awesome. That was cool. <laughs> well, perfect place to leave off. So there you have it. Uh, next episode, we are probably going to go. Uh, investigate the tower 
and take care of that because we want to continue on and do the Titan and stuff uh, pretty quick here. Get up to level 10 um, and, you know, build a SV uh, that we can shoot some stuff up with and go continue on with the Robson Protocol. But although we can probably do the Robson Protocol without even making an SV, so we're, we're going to... We're going to attempt to do it without even doing an SV. Um, it is possible, so don't laugh. We're, we're going to try. And, oh, copper. That's what that is. Okay. So, huh. Should I kill it first? Let's do that. Let's, let's go kill it really quick. <laughs> Uh, control panel, get into the mobile constructor, put those up there. Oh, we should put this in the fridge too, before it goes bad. Okay, and then we can fill that up, and we will load up our guns. And so our range is 296. And it's going to have a better range than us, I can almost guarantee it. So we want to stay behind these hills as much as possible. So 296. So now... Yeah, there we go. No problem. I like doing stuff at max range. It just makes it easier to get away. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Ooh, Gollum! You know the motto, we break for golems. Nice, and they're worth good XP too. Okay, so let's loot. Let's loot. I didn't see anything that was going to attack us, so let's loot. Ooh, cobalt. Nice. Some magnesium. Very cool. Okay. Oh, I just knocked myself off, didn't I? No. <laughs> Gotta be careful, you can actually knock yourself off with your drone. <gasps> Two power coils! Whoa! That was pretty uber. That was pretty uber. So there's copper here. Hmm. Well, I think I might have to investigate the uh, this uh, area now. So... I'm going to go do that off camera. I'm going to go hunting a little bit, try and level up, maybe kill some more golems. And until then, uh, yeah, so basically we are going to go the next episode will be do the tower, do the Robson protocol stuff, continue on with that until we can't anymore. And then we'll figure out what we need to do to do that <laughs> so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>